Well, you said exceptional. Well, we are about to get excited in the kitchen because the Easter celebration with Beacon Mellows, it is here. And it's all about the journey of nostalgia to recreate our favorite classic recipes. Now, today's special treat features Espresso studio director and producer Lucian Albertain, and he's sharing his chocolate porridge recipe with us. And it is a delicious trip down memory lane. Lucian, this is a trip that obviously it brings back nostalgia take me back how far back are we going down memory lane all right this go this goes back about 30 years plus okay yeah so my grandma used to make maize meal porridge a lot I mean back in the day we didn't have the privilege of having the big branded names and or chocolate variant um, kind of porridge so the maize meal was a thing and oats the maize meal and oats so this is a classic family recipe mm. how old were you when you tried making this for the first time Myself, so, so this is the trick. So my mother, my grandmother would make the normal standard maize meal. I would grab or, you know, borrow a, a mellow or two, and then I will chop it up and I will throw it in to make a chocolate egg. So you customize this I recipe. Customize it myself. So how about we swap places yes. and you're gonna show us how you like to make your maize, your right. pup. This so, is pup. This pup. This pup. Yes, milli meal pup. Milli meal pup. For those at home that knows, it's milli meal pup. So obviously you do the standard. Hot water. Hot water, boiling water, and obviously you stir as you go along. It's also a cloying of two cray. Oh, yes. But that was the best part. If you see a little cloying cube swirl. Oh. That was the liquor part. You want the lumps. You do want the lumps. So I'm going to open up our beacon mellows. And then chop and it up, obviously. Is there a preference to how thick and how no, much it must be chopped no, up? No, obviously, we try to make it bougie and make it extra special. Make it special. So that is a bit too big, you know. The more you chop it up, the more you can get in there, okay. basically. Okay, okay. We are doing the... Lucian maths here. Yes. The more you chop it up, the more you have. <laughs> <laughs> Little bites and pieces, you know. Little bits, okay, I love that. Now, Lush, it is Easter, so how often have you made this delicious we dish not leading up to it? Do you want me to turn the heat down for you? Let me turn it down a little bit. Actually, let me turn it down a lot. There we go. Because like, I don't brand on national TV. No, 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 no. All right, you were asking, Zoe? Um, how, are we leading up to Easter? It's this yeah. coming Friday, it's Good Friday. Um, how often have you recreated this dish? You know, because of my grandmother forcing us back in the day <laughs> <laughs> to eat the porridge finish, and because of me coming with my own little recipe and adding the, the mellows in it, into it to make it interesting. Okay. I kind of stopped eating it for a very, very long time, but now because I've been sick recently, I recreated it. Mmm, that just, little bit of nostalgia. Yeah, just put that back. And also, recipes more. So it was nice to just have that little moment and to think of her. So is this a breakfast recipe or is this a any time of day type of recipe? Okay, I will tell you this. So my older brother and younger brother, Gershwin and Chad, would eat this breakfast, lunch and supper. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Lucian, how often would he eat it? Uh, Never. Never. <laughs> well, listen, we are customizing it, so this is perfect for breakfast today, right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Yes. Lush, typically, how does your family spend Easter? For me, it's always a beautiful time having the family come together. So, we either, we, you know, Good Friday, we go to church and everything, and then we have the Good Friday lunch. Okay. So, that's kind of where we start off. Obviously, the magic of, uh, of TV, finished product is done already. And then we have the big lunch. And you want it nice and smooth. Yeah. Oh, that, that looks good. Okay. So obviously, the quick maize meal goes quite quick. The mealy meal, you'll have it more, so you it, and go, go. And then you add your maize. Decent portion? A decent portion, yes. So some people opt for butter, just to give that little flavorful. Flavorful, hopeful vibes. And there's gonna add go. that in. We'll get another spoon, sorry, so. We'll grab some spoons. Mm -hmm. And then obviously it melts Just into it. Just melt, okay, I see. And then are you one of those individuals that like to cover it in sugar or just the right amount? Because you can often, you eat it after the sweetness or you just add the sugar to enhance the flavor a little? Enhance the flavor. Okay. So then I used to do this. I would Put it so in there so it melts inside, you know? I, I, I would think child. you were hiding it. That so too, your grandma so wouldn't see it. Yes. Because <laughs> she was very strict, so. But we, I love that about her. Oh. I was a favorite, though. 
Were you the favourite? No shade, but I was the favourite. He was the favourite. Well, listen, Lucian, while you're finishing up your delicious pup, if you want to take a trip down memory lane and enjoy this delicious recipe from Lucian Albertain, his, I, don't, I can't say history, his past, he's, he's, he's grown up years, he's, his yeah. life. We have this recipe available at expressoshow.com. And you, you stand a chance to win one of four sorbet vouchers valued at 1,000 Rand each. Now simply reply to the competition post that is currently on Expresso's Facebook, Instagram or X pages and submit your guess of what the new flavor could be. We have a little clue for you. Which seasonal treat is often enjoyed toasted or buttered during Easter celebrations? That is your clue. Don't forget to include that hashtag let the hunt begin in your competition answer. That competition will close on the 27th of March. That is this week. There are T's and C's that apply and those can also be found on expressoshow.com. Now Lucian, how's breakfast? You give a little taste. Hot, okay, cool down, smooth. Mm. Memory. Mm. Memories. There Delicious. we go. Mm. <laughs> Love oh. it. Well, listen, get your hands on this recipe at expressoshow.com. Mm.